I give credit where credit is due. I'm probably the most pro anti-Trump no. comic out there. That no, month. You're not shut the, the f up. Shut the f up. As a white guy trying to talk for black people. I'm no not. Bitch. No, you're not. What are you upset about? It's not me. No, and shut up. Any black person ever tried to laugh at him. No, no, a white person trying to make fun of black people. See, now you're crying, and I was just trying to make you laugh. No, don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you a bitch. No. <laughs> Why do you think I'm doing this for a living? You think I was a football player? I'm a bitch, god damn it. You didn't give a shit. There's nothing you can say to me. I haven't said six inches from the mirror. You're the first name going in my side note tonight. <laughs> Have a good night, Kamala Harris. <laughs> that kind of sound like that. Now's the time I need you on my side. No, no, that was the most racist joke ever. Uh, get no, out. I, I, I got no, like four more no, in the chamber. No, no, no. <laughs> Did I say anything racist, Brian? No, you're good, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Brian is my one Asian friend. <laughs> That's not racist. <laughs> It would be racist if I had no Asian friends. <laughs> what is it with these absolute donuts going to comedy shows if they're that easily offended? I don't care if Joe Biden gave you free tickets to that show, you don't have to go. And trying to take on a comedian is just dumb. People that get that easily offended and put themselves in these positions on purpose need to get some help. I swear to God. Where's your laces at? Where my laces at? Yeah. Where your dad? What did he say? Oh. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Like, where's your father? I don't know, bro. A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me. Which are you choosing? I'm spending a day with you. No! No! Oh, I'm not bad. I hope he was being nice and he weren't being serious. Because if you'd actually spend a day of her instead of taking a thousand dollars, he's an absolute muppet. Unlike this guy. A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me. Which one are you choosing? You said what? A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me. Uh, a thousand. A thousand? That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's doing me! That's why he's the GOAT! So what's your type? Short okay. and Latina. Damn, I'm not short or Latina. Would you make an exception for me? No. Really? So, like, you wouldn't kiss me? No. Are you single? Nope. You're, like, committed? Yep. Would you, like... So, do I get no chance for a kiss? None. Have you ever wondered what happens when the guy actually says yes to these donuts? Take a look at this. Okay. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? Hey, um, you gotta go. You gotta do Barry's tricks. Huh? You gotta, you gotta stay? Or you wanna stay outside or something? But nah, you can't stay in. I'm gonna let first start now. I told you, you had checks eight. So it says, point of view, your homeboy got catfish, so you got to pose as a sergeant saying you got barrack checks to kick her out. That's a good friend right there. People that catfish are fucking donuts. Like, what do you think is going to happen when I see you in real life? I think I just got proposed to. Bye, see you okay, later. Stop. <laughs> Listen, yeah. wait. Hello, Morgan. My mom told me, if you see a tall man and handsome like you, let him marry you. Unless for <laughs> really not Respect to this woman for having the balls to approach him. This woman also had the balls to do it after this man saved her life. Take a look at this. So embarrassing. <laughs> So this girl was at a football game, she took a selfie and she said, everyone help me find this man I saw at the football game, I want to go on a date with him. He replied and he said, this is me, I'm sorry but you're not my type. He called. <laughs> Do you know any good jokes? Uh, gender equality. Oh. <coughs> um. Oh no. Excuse me? Oh no. Can you just repeat that for me, number one, please? <laughs> uh, I think you heard what I said. I ain't got no kids. I got my own mo motion going Red on. Flag. What? Huh? What? Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Head. What you about to say? Why the? Let's see. I know, like, having sex before marriage is bad, but it's 2022. Like, what has gone on in your life that you have not had a kid? I don't have kids. You're different. Like, but for men, it's just kind of like, why don't you have a kid? What happens? Because I don't. I don't want a kid yet. Maybe, maybe I'm responsible. What do you? 
it's huh? not responsible. So the fact that he's responsible, doesn't want to have a kid of anyone, and he's actually controlled where he puts his dick is a red flag. If anything, you're the red flag for thinking that. And fellas, don't be pressured into having kids too young. If you're not ready, you're not ready. It's the same with marriage as well. What is the biggest mistake that you've made that you oh, regret? I married too young. I wasn't growing up yet. I was very early 20s. My first wife was 20. And we were still developing. I think mid to late 20s before one gets too permanent with anybody because you're still changing. Find your passion, <laughs> uh -huh. make enough money to live, but don't chase money. I think I'm in love with him. Step aside, Giselle. Tom Brady is now the most eligible bachelor in the NFL, and he's got a lot of suitors. Playboy cover model Sarah Blake, Brazilian model Mayara Lopez, sports reporter Kendra Middleton, a science researcher Bobby Stark, and now golf influencer Karen Hart. And me. No, I'm just kidding. These women are embarrassing. You can see straight through it. They're all throwing themselves at Tom Brady since he separated from his wife. And I wonder why. I mean, the guy's only worth 500 fucking million, right? He's only one of the most famous athletes in the world. Does a man get a one night stand? <laughs> Repent and believe the gospel. You don't, need a, you don't need no one night stand. You need Jesus, man. You got game? You got sauce? You can get a uh, man's You number? got rich? You got rich. Next guy's number, she got it. Do you have a girlfriend? Unfortunately, yeah. at the moment, it seems. No, never that. But she doesn't know what won't hurt her. Oh, you're wild. That <laughs> influence. She's wild. Bro. Is she here? Why are you here alone then? You seem a little bored. Oh, that catch me. You, we, we, if you want, we can add a little spice to your life. So, so what? Don't Be do honest, it. I do love the man bun. Stay focused. You said it. Don't fall. Don't yeah, don't don't My brothers in Christ, stay strong. Oh, fuck stay you, strong, keep soldier. walking, keep walking. Yeah, good man. I'm getting the vibe there that he's just had an argument with his girlfriend because they said to him, do you have a girlfriend? He said, unfortunately, which is a bad answer. So I've got to call him out on that one. And remember, fellas, it's not worth losing your home for a hotel. Hey, look, hope you got your time, you bald head, ugly bitch. My ex-girlfriend came over to cook me dinner after three years. Should I get back with her? No! So I'm currently in a three year long term relationship and I love the boy so much and he has so much love for me. However, lately I've been thinking a lot about a boy from my gym who honestly probably doesn't even know I exist. I've been questioning my relationship as I don't think these feelings are normal. I don't know what to do and I feel so guilty because my boyfriend loves me so much. I know he doesn't even look or think about other girls in the slightest. It would break my boyfriend's heart if I ended things and so would mine. And he's my best friend who knows everything about my life and has been with me through some of my hardest times. So she's thinking about breaking up of her boyfriend that loves her and treats her well for a guy that might not even know that she exists. What a fucking donor. There's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets. 